just to start, Dorian Finney-Smith was a plus 22 on the night. I know single game plus minus can be kind of flaky, but yep. when you look at his impact, do you feel that that box score stat reflects how he was able to play tonight? Yeah, definitely. He impacted the game, guarded the ball, rebounded, hit shots. Um, I was just about to say that before you even mentioned it. Um, you also add in Royce O'Neal. Um, you know, Royce is a little bit of everything. He had a plus 13 in 19 minutes. I think that stretch in the third quarter was big, you know. And those guys, man, they show up every day, play hard, and do their job. Um, you know, just two dependable dudes right there. Cam, for you guys, just how important was it for you? I mean, how much was the streak on your mind, your streak? I mean, yeah, 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 how much was that on your guys' mind coming into this game today to shake A lot. It? Yeah, a lot. Um, we know what we're capable of at the end of the day. Um, and, you know, we, we know we let a couple f slip, but it, it feels really good to get back on the winning side of things. Uh, and, and that's the name of the game, man, resilience, just being able to bounce back and, and find a way each and every game. Um, you know, it takes one to start, to start a winning streak. So you got to start somewhere. Um, and today's a good start. The 22 points off turnovers, I think that's, I think that was almost the story of the game for me, at least. Just what did you see? What did you guys want to do when you guys got turned? Was there a mindset of turn those into points, just kind of convert, just get active and make that kind of uh, a point of emphasis? Yeah, definitely. Um, you know, defensively, I, I thought we might have even turned them over them more than 14 times. Um, but guys are doing a good job of kind of being in, in lanes and, you know, crowding the pain and making passes difficult. Um, but scoring in transition, scoring off turnovers, those are all just buckets that you want to fill, you know, money that you want to get. And today we did that and it helped us. Money spoke pregame about, you know, <coughs> still being in communication with you and Mikhail, how much yeah. the time he spent coaching you guys met. Yeah. Now he's rooting for you all the time except tonight. Um, you know, how difficult has it been to see them, you know, him go through these kind of struggles, you know, in his first season out of Phoenix? You know, I told them, uh, some of the younger guys on their team after the game that uh, sometimes you got to lose before you can win. Sometimes you got to fall before you, you know, crawl, walk before you can run. Uh, my first year in Phoenix with Coach Mont is his first year in Phoenix also. I think we were on a 10-11 game losing streak. You know, we started the season pretty solid too. Then we went on 10-11 game losing streak about this time of year too. And, you know, game winners against us just weren't really able to close out games. Um, but you learn from it. You learn from it. And, you know, they have such a young team with guys that are really talented. You know, it's, it's sometimes a matter of staying the course and, and having that belief. Um, but I know, you know, I, I love playing for Coach Mott, you know, um, four years of it. And, and you know, you grow co close over that time and, and you learn a lot about the game. And I learned a lot from him, um, a whole lot from him. And so he was huge in my development as a player. And, and so, you know, I, I know he's capable of on that end. And they got so much young talent that, you know, if they believe, you know, they, they can really be a, a solid team, you know, a contender. You, uh, sorry, you had earlier mentioned the third quarter and, and the run. I mean, they had cut, they cut it to two. Yeah. Uh, and, then, and then there's a timeout. Just yeah. What changed from there? You know, they went on that run. They were hitting shots and kind of tough ones, too. Um, and so you got to be able to weather those storms. Like I said, you got to be able to weather those storms and and be able to fight back. And, you know, the, 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 the bench came in and, and did a fantastic job of giving that buffer. And from there, you know, they were playing catch up. Hey, Cam, over here. Correct me if I'm wrong, but I believe uh, team entered today 0-2 back-to-back -to -back games today being the first yeah. win. Um, what can you take from performance tonight? What do you learn and what can you take with you to the f future? I thought, we, I thought you know, maybe the first couple minutes were a little slow, but I thought we had good juice tonight. I thought we had good juice and energy. I mean, our minds were in the right place, um, and that's all you can ask for, you know? I trust in our PT staff and our, and our people around us that are able to kind of monitor us physically, and, and so... You know, we got good contributions from across the board, too. De'Ron played a good game. Dorian, 28 minutes, hit shots, defended, rebound. Um, so anytime you have depth that you can rely on, you know, Mikel played 33, but everybody else was hovering right around 30 in the starting lineup. You know, it's big when you have those many players you can rely on on a night-to-night -night basis. And then another game against Detroit at their place in a few right. days. What are the challenges that present, present themselves when you kind of have, like, almost like a playoff series where you have... Yeah, uh, one is right after Christmas, you know? Um, and, and, and sometimes those can be a little tricky, you know, sometimes holidays and stuff can, can let your guard down a little bit. Um, but we just got to remain locked in. We got to keep the main thing the main thing, keep our focus level high and, and approach each game very seriously. Um, you know, we're coming off a losing streak, so, so we need to, you know, 
turn things around and start a winning streak and and just keep pushing our way through and continue to get better every day. Uh, Cam, now that you guys have ended your losing streak, and hopefully right. the winning continues, what was one thing you learned about this team during that tough stretch? You know, in a, in a sense, I think, I think it's going to strengthen us in the long run. Um, I think we recognized what kind of went wrong in that losing streak and the juice that, that we need to have night in and night out. And, and in a way, I think we brought a lot of joy back to playing a game um, tonight and even, even last night. Um, you know, we take those things really personally in the frustration, but I, I think, you know, sometimes we were able to spin it into a positive and just find joy and plan and plan hard and trusting each other. Cam, kind of going back to that first year you guys were with Monty Williams, when you guys were struggling a little bit, how does, when you see what these Pistons are going through, how do you kind of, I guess, relate to that even more? Because yeah. that first year wasn't just a tough yeah. year, kind of led to what you guys ended up being able to build in Phoenix a little bit. Well, I, I think the one thing we did in Phoenix was we, we built a really solid culture. Um, and, you know, the crazy thing is, before the bubble, we were 26 and 39, so we weren't, you know, that's not a great record at all. Um, and we barely got in. We were the, the final discussion, you know, how many games out can a team mathematically make the playoffs? And we were the very, very edge. And we met, went to every game in the bubble and still did not make the playoffs. Um, but a lot of people look at the bubble run and, and see that as a catalyst. So, you know, that whole entire first season aside, we were able to find really positive things. And we were able to gain momentum and look back on that season in a very positive manner. Um, so. Sometimes in this league, you, you, you can take lumps. Um, and, and, you know, there's talent, talent everywhere. Every, you know, every team out there is an NBA team with NBA players, with, with high-level players. Um, so there's kind of an art to winning games that you learn when you're a young team and, you know, and, and, and just figuring out ways. Um, and, and that's kind of how we developed in Phoenix. And, and with a young team, that's, that's just how it goes. You just need to figure out ways to win games, especially at the end. You know, the fourth quarters can be so so important. 